Hey guys, how's it going? Happy weekend. Welcome back to another playthrough of Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys are enjoying the journey. I am definitely enjoying it very much. Um, I'm just coming off another recording session of Hollow Knight. Uh, Io and Pepperito, you would probably have seen this by, that by now, but if you haven't, I 100% I recommend you guys watch it because it was the most fun I've had in Hollow Knight, period. And I've had like a lot of fun playing Hollow Knight. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so happy. Uh, I had just one of the best times. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, please do give it a chance and uh, take a look. And if you have, I'll, I'm sure you would have commented there. So I'll check it out. Also, thank you so much to everyone. We reached our 100 subscribers. Uh, I believe by the time I'm recording this, we have 101 subscribers and that is amazing. I think we have a few new subscribers for Hogwarts Legacy, which is awesome. Uh, but majority of my subscribers are for Hollow Knight. But yeah, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to play a lot of different games, have fun, and hopefully you guys will enjoy some of them, if not all of them. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I briefly talk about it at the end of Hollow Knight play because I totally forgot that I've reached 100 subscribers. <laughs> I was having so much fun. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention it here as well because these are the two games that I'm playing the most at the moment. So thank you. Thank you once again. I really appreciate all your support and you guys spending your time watching me play, uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you. All right, so with the intro done, um, man, I, I'm still like really high on Hollow Knight's <laughs> playthrough and I, I totally forgot where we are and what we're doing. Uh, all I know is we're supposed to talk to Sebastian. So, oh yes, now I remember. We're supposed to go to the uh, restrictive area of the library and Sebastian is the way to go do that. All right, let's get started. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Hmm, it's to do with Ranrock. I'm not entirely certain. Do we need to tell him? Hmm, no, I don't think so. I don't think we should tell him yet. Like, that's what I would do if I were in the character situation. I would try to keep it a little bit down low for now. Um, just because I don't know what Sebastian is like. I've is he a trustworthy him. ally or... He mistook me for another student. He's if not. you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. <laughs> Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Hmm, okay. What if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Okay, and what about the librarian? What should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just be careful and I will see you tonight. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Meet, meet Sebastian in the central hall at night. I'm still not sure what his intentions are. Um, on one hand, he seems to be very helpful and kind to us. On the other, it seems like he's a bad student, like he's up to no good. Oh, we got teleported to the library already, okay. That's good, saves See us there. some time. That's the door we need to reach. 
and those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Oh, the invisible spell. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Oh wow, I didn't know he was the one that's going to be teaching us the spell. But that's good. Wow, we're learning all the spells relatively fast. Uh, I would assume that you know you would le you would learn some of the spells later in the game, but it's been like one spell after the other. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Oh. Got it. Yay, we're going to be able to be invisible now. All right, so this is one of the essential spells as far as we remember. Uh, use disillusionments to avoid being detected in off-limited areas. Got it. How do I use it? Sneak into the library. Oh, wait, it's not uh, an essential. I thought it was uh, part of the essential spells, but nope. So we don't need Lumus for now, so we can use the... We can swap it out for now. Okay. When do I use it, though? Must be when I'm closer. How long will it last, I wonder? Oh, shit, there's already enemies here. Nearby advers adversaries will sense and then investigate suspicious behavior. Being caught by authority figures will result in quest failure. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, we have to use it now. Oh, wow. Okay, this is kind of cool. Wait, but how long does it last? I don't know. Oh shit, <laughs> who said that? <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh. Oh, so they do get a hint of you being invisible there. Uh, sorry, I got distracted because somebody in the frame said, I, I'll pretend that I cannot see you. That's definitely on purpose, isn't it? Um, oh god, I need to be going down when the prefect is looking away. Man, I haven't heard the term prefect in a long, long time. Uh, when I was in Hong Kong growing up, um, in our school we had prefects, because in Canada there is no such thing as prefects, but, oh maybe there is, I, I don't know, I haven't gone into, I, I haven't studied in a high school here, but I was one of the prefects, so just hearing that term again brought a lot of high school memories. Speaking of high school, we are in a school as well, school of wizarding and witchcraft, so it's pretty nostalgic. Thanks for the memories. For those of you who follow me in Hollow Knight, you know a lot more about me, like, you know, where I grew up, where I'm from. But for those that just joined me um, for Hogwarts, yeah, I'll try to kind of talk a little bit more about myself in between as well. Uh, so the first thing you guys need to know is that I grew up in... Oh, God. Hold on. I'm trying to... Oh, I can use spell while being invisible and it doesn't... Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. I thought I will be visible once I use it. Yeah, so I grew up in Hong Kong, um, and then I moved to Canada when I was 19. It's been like 14, 15 years uh, since I've been here. Hold on. Um, and yeah, now this is my home in Vancouver. Vancouver is my home now. I still go back to visit Hong Kong because my friends, my family, they're still there. So Hong Kong is my second home. But I was, uh, I am from Pakistan originally, like uh, my uh, like I was born there. So yeah, I, I kind of belong to like three different countries and uh, yeah, I travel between them depending on whom I'm visiting. My parents are in Pakistan, my brother, sister-in-law are in Hong Kong and I myself am in Vancouver. Okay, I think that's enough about me. Now let's get back to sneaking into the library. How do I get in? As soon as I go forward, the guy sees me. Uh, maybe I have to come back, come from another side. Do I create like a distraction? Oh no, I think this is it. Oh god, okay. What was that? Oh, is this uh, Revalio? Revalio, no. Yeah, Revalio, right? I think so. Okay, can I go in? Can I go in? Okay, Ooh, okay. 
There we go. Yay, we're in the restricted area of the library. Oh god. Behind the bookcase. Okay. Oh, it's the librarian, not the prefect. I was like, what is the prefect doing inside? Uh, where am I supposed to go, though? Oh, it's is it behind me? Yeah, it's behind me. Oh, over here. Okay. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key yes. is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Why do we need the key? Good idea. Yeah, that's true. Why do we need the Wait, key? Why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get it. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti-Aloha Mora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Hmm. I am starting to trust him a little bit more. He has been very helpful. And he hasn't betrayed us yet. Okay, how are you going to distract her? What are you going to do? Oh, I can see him. Ah, that's why there's a, that question mark. All the time. Whoa, what did you do? Oh, he went visible. Oh no 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 don't come from here. Oi! Shit 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 No Wow I got caught so fast What I thought I could I would have some time to sneak out but nope. Also she didn't go behind the bookshelf. I thought she was walking towards the bookshelf. Never mind. Yeah, I really like this spell though. <laughs> it's gonna be whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the librarian? Yeah. Oh wait, I can just sneak in. Perfect timing. The key. Here it is. She's looking at us, <laughs> and she has no idea. <laughs> is someone there? Is, is there that you, Peeves? Is that you, Peeves? No, it's Sebastian. Okay, I've got the key. So, I gotta find Sebastian. Oh, maybe she just kind of uses the spell to reveal anybody that's invisible there. It it wasn't a matter. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Why does she come here? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. This is neat. You can stay invisible forever. How to find that book? And you can s use spell while being invisible. This is so overpowered. Like, I feel like if you're doing any action while invisible, you should become visible because that would add, like, another complexity to it. But, well, for now it seems easy and overpowered. Maybe in the future it's not. Oh, what is it now? Use basic attack while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired... Oh, okay. Aim mode L2 grants precision spell targeting and reveals additional spell targets. Oh, I didn't know that. I know you can use L2 to kind of target. It's like using bow and arrows. Where is she, though? Hold on. I can't see her. Oh, there. No, 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 no. Okay, how do I distract her? Oh, maybe... Oh, there! You can target exactly where you wanna. Oh, wow, it's so sensitive. Will you go exp... Well... There. Oh, it's a ghost! Oh, wow, okay. I thought it was someone, but no, it's just a ghost. There's another ghost there. Man. It's starting to become more and more like Assassin's Creed. No, 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 sorry. Can you go, go over there? Go over there. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the question mark is about to fill up. Why didn't you look behind you, woman? Yeah, it's starting to feel like more and more like Assassin's Creed. You got the robes, you got the cloaks. Uh, you gotta sneak around. 
Okay, how far are we? Oh, do we need to grab the key again? No, I don't think we need to grab the key again, do we? Oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong side. Here we go. Ah, okay, we're not that far. Can we not, like, stand up? Nope, I cannot, it seems like. I can jump. Okay. Yep, we know, we know. I messed up last time. I'll try not to. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, okay, that's fine. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Look there. Yeah, thank you. Okay, now this lady. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am literally in her. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that was her path. I thought she was only on the other side. Also, why didn't she um, go to where I'm using the spell? They told me to use the spell. Okay. Okay, I need to figure out how to distract that other lady. I figured out the first one. I guess I can't hit the wall. Like, I need to hit, like, an object to distract them. Although in the preview, they were showing me that it's just, um, you just have to hit, like, a wall area or something. Okay, we'll wait for her to go. Okay, there we go. There's that lady. Now, she's gonna see me, though. She's gonna come here. Like, how do I make her... I'm, like, trying to distract her. Like, look, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, she is distracted a little bit. Can't stand up. <laughs> I'm trying to aim there, but <laughs> I totally forgot that there's the other lady too. <laughs> I'm just like spamming my attacks while she's just watching me. She's like, "What is this stupid kid doing?" Okay, what is the Solution. Do I just like rush through it perhaps? You see, they're attacking. I guess they're attacking in between frames. Oh my god, what in the world? What? <laughs> They're so fast at ca catching you. Okay. I am playing horribly, I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. I should be better than that. Okay, this time I'm gonna do it. Enough fooling around. It's so sensitive, this... Okay, go, 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 attack. The the aiming is very sensitive. Okay, how do I... Okay, there, maybe she'll be distracted there for a while. I think I have to go down, or do I have to go here? Okay, 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 we did it, we did it, we did it. Whew. Um, I don't know, Sebastian. I feel like this is a safer choice. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're on. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. Mm -hmm. You're being awfully cryptic. Well, that's because I... I'll, I genuinely don't know what I'm after. So there's the chest with the eye. I guess we'll eventually be able to figure out how to unlock these. Oh, what was that? Oh! <laughs> is it asking us to read it? Revelio. 
Rebellio. There's nothing to reveal. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Even the chest is like begging us to open it. I can't run in here. I can only walk. It's not allowing me to do anything else. What is this? Oh my god, that's so creepy! What in the world? Whose hand is it? No, I can't do anything. It's just it's just a static. Whoa, this library is deep. Is there anyone? Oh, now I can run. Okay, that's good. The music uh, kind of changed. Oh, here, this one, Levioso. Levioso. Yes, I remember. It's going to give us something to collect. There you go. 7 out of 15. Hopefully I'm not missing any. So far, they've all been in, uh, in the path of the quest. There's a lot of these uh, world maps. I don't know why there's so many. All you do is just spin the globe. There. There's another one. <laughs> uh, and another one. Oh my god. Why are they... Oh, a chest. Shell metallic. What is that? Collection? We did get a scarf. Hold on. Before I forget, I want to make sure... Oh! Oh, there it is! My wizarding... Uh, wizarding uh, world's items, I'm guessing? This is a scarf we just found. Uh, no, 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 you ugly. Is my robe available as well? No. Okay, so what the heck is that? Is this the one we found? It's just... We're not at that level. It requires level 8 to wear it. Can I see how what it looks like? No. Oh, okay, so this is what we found. Okay, we just can't equip it yet. We're not high level. Oh, we're almost there. We're level 7. Okay, Reparo. Oh, it's this dude again. Peeves, don't you? Man, that guy is annoying. He's been bullying kids. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Can I trust you? Don't get into trouble. I think I'm going to be a little bit more friendly towards him, so I'm going to just ask him, please don't get into trouble. Be safe. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Oh okay. god. Good luck there he goes, search. become... Now he's yeah. like a little bit Where sinister again. Poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Yep. Uh, it's not equipped though. Where is Reparo? Lumos? Oh, here. Okay, I gotta keep like switching between attacks uh, or moves. That's not Reparo. good. Hopefully we'll be able to, like, equip more than four spells in the future. Oh, there's a chest piece. 68 coins, nice. Is that 68 total, or did we receive 68 from the chest? It feels like it's the total. Whoa. It's so creepy. Like, being a student in the middle of the night inside this library would be, like, so scary for me. I would not want to do it alone. And we're just going deeper and deeper. Whoa. What in the world? And this is all inside the castle. That's in traces of ancient magic. Oh. There There's haptic feedback well. here. Every step has a little vibration in the control. Feels nice. Oh, it's the ancient magic again. Investigate. Okay, enter the Athenium. Oh wow, that is so cool. How you can just kind of walk in and out. That's nice, really nice touch. And there's a bit of uh, haptic feedback when you go through the door. Oh, what's up with our 
vision. It's like kind of blurry. We feel like we're drunk or dizzy. But we're running pretty smoothly. Oh, marble floor. What is this? <gasps> Please give me a good item. That's a big chest. Whoa, loosened umber autumn scarf. Oh, it's a scarf though. Hold on. Maybe it has good stats. We keep getting more scarves. Ah, oh, I can't use it. I need to be level. It does say 16 offense. Uh, no trade applied. Wow, that's an expensive. This is 13. So this scarf is even better. It's a legendary. Oh, wow. Okay. Those are good items. Well, once we're level 8, we're definitely going to equipping them. Where might this lead? Where are we going, though? Discover the secret of an antechamber? Huh. Oh, there. You can see the glowy magic thing that only we can see. Okay. Oh, it looks like we're going to solve some puzzles. Oh, I know. This one must be Accio. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> nope. Completely miscalculated. Hold on. Oh, there. There's a glowy thing there. I need to wake up that rune over there. Okay, Levios. How do I wake it up? Repel. I'm using every spell. Uh, oh, this must be the fire. That's why we learned it. Uh, hold on. Okay, I need to equip the fire one. So maybe I don't need the sneaky one anymore. Incendium. No? Oh, wow. I was very certain it would be that. Uh, oh, hold on. Maybe it's just basic attacks. L2 to free aim. Yeah. There. Ah, uh, yeah. It was basic attacks. Right? Oh. Wait. Hold on a second. I have limited time? Wait. Can I just attack without, like, uh, aiming? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just gotta go while... Ooh, whoa! How did I make that? That was pure luck. Like, I just kind of jumped, went for it and jumped. Okay, I think we're gonna be fighting soon, so let me equip all offensive spells. Um, I mean, we don't have a fourth offensive spell. We only have three offensive spells anyways. Uh, okay, so we'll keep that. Oh, there we go. Not surprising. Cards at the ready. L1 and R1. Ooh! Let's go. Okay, there's different kinds of ancient magic spells. Oh, that's good. How do I know? Oh, I think it's the bars at the bottom right. Okay, let's... Oh, wait. I did not see him. Okay, they're easy so far. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combo will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Yeah, so the magic meter is at the bottom right. We can see there. And then I can use the super powerful ancient magic attacks. Okay, got it. There it is. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Tap R1 plus L1 when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. Got it. So at the moment, we have nothing filled. But okay, we're still kind of in a tutorial because they're still teaching us how to use these. I really like the um, grabbing of like items around the world and then just smashing it onto your enemies. That still feels really fun. Okay, I see an enemy there and I see an enemy there. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. What did I do? What did I do with the other one? Got him. Okay, I need a lot more combos because that meter fills up really slowly. Hold on a second. What's that? How do I get to that one? Is there uh 
Can I bring it to me? No? Hmm. I'm not sure how to bring it towards me. Can I even do it? Do I need another spell? I feel like I need like a long jump or like a flying ability to do that. Wait, how did this open? There was a path here earlier. Now it's not there. Oh, I see. It's the same thing. But I don't see one above there. Is there anything I can select on this side? Hmm. Nope. So it seems like I can only go here for now. Okay. Okay. So I gotta jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I was gonna say... What? The? No, 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 no. Wow, it tricked me. What? What in the world? Hold on. If I do this, does it open all paths maybe around me as well? Like over here as well? No. Okay, I was just testing. Okay, let's try that again. I think I only need to use one attack and it just opens up. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. Oof, it is so shiny here. This must be the way forward, but to where? Oh wow. Such a massive chamber. Is this still inside Hogwarts uh, castle or did the developers kind of use a cheat code system where when the game loads, they bring us to a separate map? I feel like when the game loaded, it did bring us to like a separate map. So it's not within Hogwarts castle. If we are to re-explore this, I don't think it's possible. It's only in this chapter. Okay, so why is it like the same thing over and over again? Something must be different. Oh, hold on. I feel like something is different this time. Do I go here and then I hit it again? Yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, another chest. Potion. Okay, we got some potion. There's a room on the right side there. I don't know how to get to there yet. Green gingham gloves. Okay, we got more gloves. Lots of scarves. Uh oh, here we go. This is going to be a battle time. Okay. Where are our spells? We've got Levioso, Accio, and... I uh, forgot. Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh, got him. Oh, shit. He has some AoE attack around him. What was that? Grab that spell. Boom. Let's go. Oh, shit. I get... I get... I keep concentrating on um, one guy and totally forgot about the other. Oh. I saw that! Okay, I need to be more aware of the surrounding. Yo, oh my god, I fell down. Okay, it is not as easy as it looks. Trust me. That was lame. There we go, I just gotta keep spamming all the spell. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna get it before he can do it. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay, so R1 definitely does a lot more damage. Uh, let's heal. It was a little bit messy, but I, I also, like, haven't fought for, like, a day or two, so I'm a little bit rusty. It does get a bit challenging when there are multiple enemies. Because you're concentrating on like the combos with one person and then the other person is attacking you from behind. 
You just gotta be aware of it, I guess. We'll get better. We'll get better as we play along. But what is this? Man, how is he not afraid? I'll be so afraid to be all alone with a magical... Bo oh, it's another memory! Oh, this time it's humans, not goblins. Oh, no, it's the same dude. Oh, yeah, these guys are the one that are uh, uh, caving the path for us using the ancient magic. Who are they, though? Did I just say caving? I meant paving. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> paving the path for us. Oh, they're helping humans. Muggles. Why is the character animation so bad here? I feel like they must have created these scenes like a couple of years ago. And they never went back to kind of polish it up. The graphics are pretty low quality here. Is that her, all grown up? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. She does not seem friendly. She has that sinister look to her. Sebastian. Maybe she's the boss. Maybe she's the enemy. Sneaking in the restricted section again. I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. 
Oh, is he gonna rat us if out? Someone has coerced you. I would have you tell me. I don't You're think he right will. Boy, don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, there it is, guys. What will your uncle say? A friendship bond has been made. He did not betray us. That was the ultimate test. Quest completed. Secrets of the restricted section. And oh, we're level eight. Let's go. Okay, okay. You know what that means. We gotta scarf it up since we got level eight. Let's get the strongest scarf. Hopefully it looks cool as well. We have two. Ugh, this does not look very good. Wait, it doesn't even look any different than what we already have. Okay, at least this one looks different. Oh yeah. Okay, okay, I like that. I dig that. That's a different kind of style scarf. And I like the color. Yeah, I like that. And it has uh, good stats. 16 offense. So we're up to 21 offense, zero defense, 350 health. I think we got gloves as well. Oh, wait. Wand handles. What does that do? Shell metallic wand handle. A metal handle with stylish grooves and a marble shell at its base. Does it do anything or is it just aesthetic? Oh, feels like it's just aesthetic. Okay, no stats. Uh, let's see. Do gloves give stats? Whoa, it do. It does. So this one gives us eight offense, this one's six. So obviously, the stronger they are, the better they are. So we'll just equip that. Do we have any face wear? Again, this is just aesthetics. I think it's just glasses, right? Oh, whoa. Actually, our character doesn't look that bad in glasses. Yeah, he looks pretty decent. But we'll keep him without glasses. And then headwear. Oh, headwear has... Uh, stats to it but it completely changes the appearance though and i don't like it can i equip it but disable the headpiece visual Nah, i don't think so maybe i will be able to but we'll figure it out later uh we haven't found any other robes and any other outfit either and everything else is locked okay so this is as strong as we get for now uh which is fine we'll take it Actually, hold on. There's like a lot of uh, menu to explore. When I go back, there, inventory and collections. So let's see, what's in the inventory? Something new here. That's the mysterious book, okay. Can I click it? Nope, it's just something we have. And then collections. What's this? 3 out of 69. Oh, I guess these are uh, lore or background behind the enemies we fought. So if you guys want to read it, uh, you guys go ahead, pause and read it. But I'm not going to go over them yet. Oh, this is a short description. Ancient magic ensures that their weapon will always reform in their hands after being thrown or disarmed, granting them the ability to attack from afar indefinitely. Is this the same thing? No, this is slightly different. Okay, is this like just kind of glossary of all the things we have? And if you want to read more about it, I'm guessing. Oh, there. This is the shell for our wand. Uh, whoa, we already have so many things. Ten things here. Oh. An ensemble for those with poison refinement. Yeah, I want to get these. I don't know how to bring it back to... Okay, what does it say? Cosmetic alter alterations apply to gear via the change appearance option in the gear menu. Appearances in this list are rewards for special accomplishments such as challenges and quests. Okay. I want this robe or alternatively this one. This one looks really good. A cloak in two-toned hues featuring a quilted house mascot on the back. Yeah. How do I get it? Why can I not equip it? Wait, does it have a level limit or some sort? Can it tell me? Hmm. Additional content. I'm not sure. I need to probably read up. I'm going to read up online and see if there's a way to collect it. 
These were the things we repaired. Oh, are these the books? Oh, yeah, Revelio pages. Ah, so if I missed out on any of them, uh, I can read it here. Oh, and they're segmented. So this is in the Highlands. And this is at Hogwarts. Wow, there are so many at Hogwarts. That's insane. It's really good, though. I really want to read all about these. Maybe once we've collected enough, we'll do like a quick 10 minute of like reading through them just to kind of get a background about more uh, uh, background or more lore about the world, because it is a very fascinating world. OK, so that's pretty much the menu. Uh, we still haven't opened up our talents yet, uh, so I'm guessing we just have to keep playing and then we'll be able to do that. Uh, OK, where do I go? They're currently not tracking anything. Do I need to be invisible? Well, I have to go 97 yards that way. Did we come from here? Yeah, we just got to go up. Oh, what is this? Roll. Wait, is it a puzzle? Do we have to match it with something else? Okay, never mind. I'm not sure what it means. We have to go this way. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, okay. That's a good reminder. I totally forgot about this. What does this symbol mean? Looks like a bug. Oh, there. Flu flame. Yeah, late at night, too. Oh, we're supposed to go back to... Oh, Professor Fig's classroom. I thought we were going to go back to our common room and wake up in the morning. But no. I guess we're going to tell Professor Figs that we've discovered something, and then he's going to be a little bit angry, but overall he'll be like, that's fine, it is what it is. So let's figure out our next steps. This compass charm is really handy. Without it, it will be quite challenging to get back fast. All right. OK, guys, uh, I think before starting the next quest, I will end the playthrough here. We're at like 48 minute mark. Um, so that was pretty good. We, d we did learn a new spell, so we can go invisible, uh, which is quite OP. And we also realize that Sebastian is a true friend. So next time we're going to be a little bit more trustworthy with him, and maybe we can reveal a little bit more details about what's happening with us. Uh, and he could be a good ally in the long run. But let's see, let's see what Mr. Professor, or not Mr. Let's see what Professor Higgs has to say. And where else do we go next? Uh, it is the weekend tomorrow, so Saturday and Sunday, so I'm probably going to be recording a lot more playthroughs. So be on the lookout for maybe even multiple playthroughs in a day. Uh, I'm trying to kind of speed through this a little bit more, uh, just because it's such a lengthy game, and at this rate we will be playing this forever if I only release one playthrough or one part a day. Uh, all right, that's it. Thanks so much. Uh, if you watched it all the way through, I will see you in the next part. Cheers.